I was redoing a new pedal board, simplifying things, but I decided I needed a bass drum. This is it. This is the bass drum. I took a 2 inch used speaker, 8 ohms, so with that I'm going to have to go to a preamp like a Mackie uh, mixer. I put on a 16th inch piece of plywood, 16th inch thick, just inside the uh, speaker cone, used white glue, not epoxy or um, say a hot glue. It needs to be white glue because you, you don't want to interfere with the, uh, the dynamics of, and structure of the, of the paper cone. And then I took 332nd piano wire and I hot glued it to the 16th inch thick piece of plywood. There are five turns of piano wire and they're approximately three-eighths of an inch between turns. As you see, there's a, a, the bigger gap here, but there are five turns of it. The reason for this is, the reason I'll demonstrate the sound here in just a minute, with a bass drum, when the beater kicks the drum head, there are actually two sounds. First of all, there's the um, the volume of the bass drum, which you're going to hear because of the paper cone, but on the point of the strike, you'll hear a resonance. You'll hear a sort of a metallic sound. And that's what the spring offers here. So the spring does two things for me. Uh, while it rattles on the paper cone, you get that volume boom. And then because of the spring dynamics here, because it's structured with the five turns, uh, it gives you that little metal sound. Uh, that you normally hear just for a moment after the uh, bass drum is hit. So let me demonstrate this for you and show you what, let you hear what it sounds like. I'm going to do a hard strike and then a soft strike. This is just a pad. So.